Hey friends, how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling blessed and staying in God's presence. And if not, I hope this video uplifts you. If you're new here, welcome to His Princess Christian Community, where we read a chapter of the Bible every day and then discuss it afterwards and in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and opens the door for more people to join our community. And check the description box while you're at it. There's tons of great stuff in there. Like there's a link to a His Princess mug, a line notebook. We have a monthly newsletter. We also would love to pray with you. Um, so there's a prayer request form and we'd love to hear how God's working in your life with a praise report form in there where you can just let us know how God's doing what's God's doing in your life. Also, the comment section is a great place to put some of your praise reports. Um, it always just encourages people to grow in their faith. Um, today we are going to be reading Ecclesiastes chapter 3. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say a prayer before we get started, if you wouldn't mind bowing your heads with me. Dear God, thank you for bringing us together here on His Princess Christian Community. Thank you for the clarity that your word gives. Thank you for opening our ears, our minds, our hearts, and our eyes to your word. Thank you for your wisdom and understanding as we seek to interpret your word. And thank you for the courage and the strength to live by faith every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so Ecclesiastes chapter 3, a time for everything. For everything there is a season, a time for every activity under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to harvest, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build up, a time to cry and a time to laugh, a time to grieve and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather stones, a time to embrace and a time to turn away. A time to search and a time to quit searching. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be quiet and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do people really get for all their hard work? I have seen the burden God has placed on us all. Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time. He has planted eternity in the heart, in the human heart. But even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So I conclude there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labor, for these are gifts from God. And I know that whatever God does is final. Nothing can be added to it or taken from it. God's purpose is that people should fear Him. What is happening now has happened before, and what will happen in the future has happened before, because God makes the same things happen over and over again. The injustices of life. I also noticed that under the sun there is evil in the courtroom. Yes, even the courts of law are corrupt. I say to myself, in due season, God will judge everyone, both good and bad, for all their deeds. I also thought that the human condition, how God proves to people that they are like animals. For people and animals share the same fate. Both breathe and both must die. So people have no real advantage over, over the animals. How meaningless. Both go to the same place. They come from dust and they return to dust. For who can prove that the human spirit goes up and the spirit of animals goes down into the earth? So I saw that there is nothing better for people than to be happy in their work. That is our lot in life. And no one can bring us back to see what happens after we die. Amen. So what did you think of Ecclesiastes chapter 3? I know this is very popular, especially you know that there's a time for everything section verses 1 through 8 that's very popular. Um, so I'd love to hear what you think. Um, leave it in the comments below along with like maybe your favorite verse or you know some way that God has worked in your life today. 
Um, you know, it's always great to remember how grateful we are for God's presence in our life. And it's easy to lose track or not acknowledge him for the small things that he does. Maybe those little reminders like, oh, don't forget, you know, your lunch is in the fridge. Um, and go, and being able to grab that before we leave out to go to work. You know, something small like that, God's little gentle nudges, things like that, it's easy to um, forget to acknowledge God in that. And it's always good to openly praise Him. So leave it in the comments below so that we can praise Him with you. So, um, you know, verses 1 through 8 is comparing. You know, it's basically saying there's a time for everything. Like, um, life is not one-sided. It's neither all good or all bad. Um, there's going to be good times and bad times. It says there's a season, there's a season, a, t a time for everything, for every activity under heaven. So everything to die and to harvest, to heal and to kill, to tear down, to build up, to cry and to laugh, to grieve, to dance, to scatter stones and to gather stones. Um, so you really have to ask God, like, what season are you in? Are you in a season of um, building or tearing down? Is there something that you need to tear down today? Is there something that you need to build up? Is there something that you need to plant today? Or is now your time of harvest? Um, is now the time when you need to grieve the loss of something? Or is now the time to dance and um, be enlightened by something um, is this something sometime a time for you to hold on to things or is this a time for you to let things go um, so you really just need to um, seek God for answers to those things and realize that whatever it is that you're going through it's only for a time and soon the tides will turn and there'll be um, you know something better so if you are going through a, a good time I mean a bad time don't worry because good times are are coming you know there's a time for everything so don't get stuck in that bad time or dwell on it too hard because you know this too shall pass um, so then as we um, bridge out of the, you know the time for everything God just saying that hey things gonna, are gonna happen there's a, there's a side and a time for everything. Um, then, you know, he goes, um, what is this? King David's son? Yeah, King David's son um, comes in and tells us that he's like, well, what do we get for all of our hard work? Um, I've seen the burden that God has placed on onto us all. God has made everything beautiful for its own time. So everything is beautiful in its own time. Um, you might be looking at something and not be able to see the beauty in it today, but years from now, a day later, you know, a couple weeks from now, you may be able to see the beauty in it. Like sometimes things are in a different season than we want them to be and we just have to wait patiently for the Lord for our season to come or the season that we're looking for to come because it will come. Um, and it says he's planted eternity in our hearts. And sometimes that can be draining to think about so far away, you know. So um, it's better to just focus on now. And that's why he's saying um, there's nothing better than to be happy, enjoy ourselves as long as we can. Um, because there is a season for everything. So you, those good moments, you want to really enjoy those good moments. So when you are going through the bad moments, you can reflect back on the good. And um, those can keep help keep you strong in the um, bad times. Um, and I do want to make note um, something that I skipped over. There was a um, verse... 11 he said god has made everything beautiful for us in its own time he's planted eternity on the human heart but even so people cannot see the whole scope of god's work from beginning to end so we can't always see what god has planned or what he is doing in our lives we can't understand always like why you're going through something or why something is happening to you um but at the same time we know that the work that he's done for us previously we know the things that he's brought us through previously we know that he's here with us now and we know that he can bring us through this as well and as soon as we come to an understanding of that that this is only for a season it's only for a time it's a lot easier to get through this is only temporary um, so you know you just have to get through today and then tomorrow is a new day with a fresh start a fresh outlook 
um, and we really need to focus on our happiness and the things that that make us happy like there's nothing better than to be happy and enjoy yourself so really seek to find those things that really bring you joy if you notice that you're going through every day and you're not finding that joy you're not finding that happiness you need to try something different um, maybe take up a new hobby watch a different show read a different type of book um, just try to open your mind to the other possibilities out there because sometimes when things get um, heavy for us when we're not able to see the joy in life then that means we may not be on the right path or maybe that's God's directing us to a different path um, so this is something that again you need to pray on because it's not necessarily that you should go to a different path sometimes it's just to say is this what you really want like really look at the things in your life and see is this really what you want you know sometimes it's a test to see are you going to hold on to this even through the hard times um, sometimes it's to say okay you need to be somewhere else so you really just need to pray to God and say hey God what am I doing in my life right now that's making me so miserable is there something that you're planning in me that I need to wait to grow is there something that I need to let go is there something that I need to scatter is there something that I need to embrace is there something that I need to turn away from so you need to figure out what season that you're in and what you can do to move into the next season um, so then we go down to the next paragraph, um, which is just basically saying that God makes the same things happen over and over and over again. So you'll notice throughout your life a lot of repeats in the seasons that you go through. Um, and that's just something that as, um, that as humans that we have to do. Like God's purpose is that people should fear him. Um, and that nothing can be added or taken away. What is happening now has happened before. Like he's done this and he'll keep doing it. And what we need to do is say, hey, this has happened before to me. I have been through tough times before and I've gotten through. How did I get through? This is how I got through God, the word God brought me through. And then it makes it a lot easier for us to again to move into that next season in our life, to move into the next time, to move into a more uplifting phase. So we're able to bounce back. I love that bounce back um, phrase a lot faster when we recognize the season that we're in, when we're made aware of it. So sometimes that's what, again, that prayer to ask God to reveal to you what season you're in. And again, what can you do to move into the next season um, or prolong the season that you're in if you really enjoy it um, or bring more of that type of season into your life. Um, then the next two paragraphs are about the injustices of life. So the first one is that there's corruption everywhere, even in the courtroom. So even within the law, there is, cor is corruption. But it's something that we don't need to um, overly concern ourselves on. It's not something that, I'm not saying that we shouldn't pray about it or um, like seek God's discernment in those types of situations. But um, at the end of the day, we need to trust God to be the judge and be the and, and he's the one that's going to be issuing that punishment if it's something bad or that reward if it's something good. So regardless of the corruption anywhere, God is just and God's going to take care of it. And we need to um, put all those cares and worries and concerns about the corruption in the world on him and just continue to pray that he makes right any wrongs that are done. Um, and then the last paragraph is saying, um, I also thought that about the human condition. He's saying that animals and um, humans are the same. Um, because at the end of the day, who are we to say what happens to the animals, you know, after life? And, you know, when I was reading this, it was really just put on my spirit to acknowledge that this is also in judgment of other people. So it's easy for us to look at somebody else as completely different than us. Like I'm a Christian, that's a non-Christian or I'm black, they're white or I'm Christian, they're Jewish or I'm Christian, they're Muslim or um, I'm male. I mean, I'm female, they're male. So, you know, we have all these dividing lines between us. But God is um, in this in this paragraph, I'm really getting that it's not for us to decide what happens to anyone other than ourselves. We're not in control of it. 
we don't decide we don't know we can't say because you're Muslim and I'm Christian I go to heaven and you don't or because um, you know I'm female and you're male that you know I'm more precious to God so we can't say these things we can't decide what happens um, you know we can't prove that um, so there's nothing better than for people to be happy in their work so focus on you focus on what you're doing focus on your day-to-day -day. focus on how you can make your life happy and content um, and it says no one can bring us back to see what happens after we die so um, well we can't really prove that either can we but because you know Jesus came back so don't really know all about that um, but what I can say is that right now all we can do is focus on today we can focus on what we're doing today we can be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can and really understand that these things are a gift from God our happiness is a gift from God um, you know the fruit of our labor is a gift from God and just really give praise and gratitude where it belongs and um, just really focus on how you can make every day the best day and sometimes that's just getting a better understanding of what season you're in so I hope you enjoyed Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and I can't wait to hear what you think about it in the comments below don't forget to like and subscribe it really opens the door to more people joining our community and then check the description box while you're at it I hope you stay blessed and stay in God's presence and have a great rest of your day. I love you.